I got asked a question the other day, and this one's going to be probably a two-parter, if not a three-parter. So stay tuned for all the rest of it. The question was, when they asked me a couple of days ago, it's just been kind of rolling around in my head of, can someone else curse you? And there are so many different levels with this. So it's kind of like, uh, yeah, but there's a couple of things that have to happen and that sort of thing. So let's talk about all that. And like I said, it'll probably be like a three-parter by the time we get through all of this information. Ruth Teresa with One Inspiring Woman. I'm an intuitive psychic medium here in the Sugarland area that's just outside of Houston. And today we are talking about can someone really put a curse on you? And the answer is yes, someone can. But no matter what kind of curse they put on you, you have to resonate with that energy. So if you are a very positive person and someone puts a curse on you, it's just going to kind of like blow through you like the wind and it's not going to attach to you. But if you are in, have like a lot of negative energy, and I don't mean you do bad things. What I mean is like your thinking can be negative, even if you're not hurting anybody else. What I'm saying is if you're always thinking like, I'm not good enough, this doesn't work with me, um, no one's going to accept me, no one's going to like me, no one's going to love me, no one's going to do all that kind of negative thinking that you have going on, and they send you negative energy, and that's going to attach to it, and it's going to stay with you. And it can stay with you for many, many, many weeks, months, years for your lifetime if you don't ever clear this out. So that's kind of one of the best things to learn is to learn how to kind of amplify your own positive energy. And I will tell you kind of the best way to really start with that is kind of that energy of thinking positively about yourself, thinking positively about other people, and kind of that energy. And if you're around someone who's always kind of like sending out that negative energy over and over again, it's one of those like, bless them on their path, bless them as um, they are. And it's one of those and like sometimes they may kind of like fix this on their own, but it's one of those like that negative energy constantly coming off of them can be overwhelming, not only for you, but for them as well. But it's one of those, they have to fix it. They have to stop sending out that negative energy. And if you are always sending out positive energy that um, everything's going to turn out okay, um, I am loved, I love other people, I love going to different events with people, and I can't wait to go to do this with this person and that with that person, and you're always thinking this very positive things that things are going to turn out well, your high vibration is not going to attach to that curse. That curse is just going to go on past you and you'll be, be like, eh, it's gone. I do not have to worry about that at all. And that's kind of one of those super positive energies is when your energy is a very high frequency. And that doesn't mean you have to have positive think thoughts like 24-7, 365. Everybody has bad thoughts from time to time. Like, mm, am I wearing something? Are they going to like this? Or all that kind of stuff. But then changing that after a moment or two into more positive. Of course, they're going to love this shirt. This is a great shirt um, and I feel great in it. So that's going to amp up my energy and I'm going to feel beautiful and um, surrounding myself with white light of energy and creator love. That sort of thing is going to kind of really bring this up um, and this is going to be kind of like, yes, we're going to do this. We're going to make this positive energy really, really happen for us. So that is like, yay. And the higher you keep your energy positive, the better off you're going to be and less curses will be able to attach to you, especially if you're in a family that believes in a lot of curses or putting a lot of curses on people. So that is kind of like uh, part one. If you have any questions, make sure you um, put them down below and I will be doing part two and part three shortly and hopefully you will just enjoy them just as much. Thank you so much for joining me today and I know that we'll be talking again soon.